Hello and welcome. Today I will be answering three questions that I'm being asked concerning passports as it relates to the diversity visa program. So let's begin the discussion. The first question concerns those who entered the diversity visa lottery without a valid passport and were selected. For the last three years, in order to enter the diversity visa lottery, you needed to be in possession of a valid passport. But there were some entrants who didn't respect the rule that existed regarding the valid passport and they entered the lottery either by creating passport information of their own or by choosing one of the exceptions that existed because there were three exceptions that allowed entrants who didn't have a passport to enter. And it happened that some of those who entered without a valid passport were selected. And so they have become concerned regarding their diversity visa application. They want to know what their fit is as it relates to the diversity visa program. And so to respond to that preoccupation, I would like to say that although you enter the diversity visa program without respecting the rule that existed at the time, but after you entered the lottery, that rule was removed from the diversity visa program. Meaning moving forward, the issue of a valid passport to enter the diversity visa lottery will not be taken into consideration when it comes to processing your diversity visa application. So if you are one of those who did not enter the lottery with a valid passport but you were selected, then you are very lucky. You can continue your application process but you will have to acquire a new passport in order to do so. Now for those of you who managed to acquire a passport after you entered the lottery, you can use that new passport to continue your diversity visa application. The issue of not having a valid passport at the time you enter the lottery will not be counted against you during your diversity visa application process. Now for those of you who are concerned that the issue may be raised at your diversity visa interview, I can assure you that consular officers around the world have already been informed by way of the Foreign Affairs Manual, that is the document that provides instructions to them how to handle visa cases. And so they are not to take into consideration the fact that an applicant did not enter the diversity visa lottery at the time with a valid passport. So if you are one of those who finds yourself in this situation, you can go ahead processing your diversity visa application. Your case will not be affected by the fact that you did not enter the lottery using a valid passport. Now to the second question. The second question has to do with those who were selected and currently they do not have a passport and they have been asking whether between now and the end of this year, it will be late when it comes to filling out and submitting their DS-260. At that level also, there is no problem. If at all you are not in the position to acquire a passport in the coming few months, as some of you have already noted because perhaps you are living out of your home country and you expect to return to your home country sometime later in this year, then there is no problem. You can still acquire your passport in the month of November, in the month of December, and then begin your application process. Remember, I always say this, the scheduling of diversity visa interviews is not just by DS-260 submission, it is more by case number order. So in case you have a low case number, you will realize that you will be scheduled for interview before others with higher case numbers who submitted their DS-260 much earlier than you. So acquire your passport and begin the application process even if it's in the month of December. It is not late to submit your DS-260. And the final question has to do with the upcoming lottery in the months of October and November. I've also been asked whether a passport will be required to enter the upcoming lottery. Now as things stand today, I can say that you will not need a valid passport to enter the upcoming diversity visa lottery in the months of October and November because of the same reason I cited earlier in this video. The rule that required you to enter the lottery with a valid passport 
has been removed from the diversity visa program. But as you are aware, the diversity visa program is a dynamic environment. Things change from time to time. So just in case there is a change and you are required to be in possession of a valid passport to enter the upcoming diversity visa lottery, I will inform you by means of a video on this channel. So those are the answers to three questions that diversity visa hopefuls have been asking as it relates to passport and the program. So with that, we come to the end of this discussion. Thanks for watching this video. And in case you have any questions regarding the subject that we just discussed, just leave them in the comment area below and I'm going to respond to them. Thanks once again and see you, God willing, in the next video. Goodbye.